Hi everybody! Today we are opening up the Japan Mini Crate for June of 2019. Okay, here's the top of the box. We open it and it looks like the theme, sort of, for this month, at least according to our booklet, is Fruits Basket. Which I feel like is a manga, but also a show. Because I feel like I either, I don't remember, I either read some of Fruits Baskets or Fruits Basket or I watched some of it. I don't remember, like, but back in the day, I feel like I heard of this and I kind of was into it a little bit. But I'm going to turn to the page um, that has the items that come in our mini crate and have this at the ready so I know what everything is. Okay, our first item right from the top is, oh, we've had something that looks like this before, but I think they were cherry. They're like little kind of firm, I think, um, gummy candies. Okay, they're mochi, that's right. I never remember to call some of these candies mochi because I always think of the mochi ice cream that I have. Okay, um, Mikan Mochi. Perhaps Momiji made this mochi like the classic folklore about the mochi making rabbit on the moon. It's Mikan Mochi, also known as Tangerine Mochi Candy. So, Tangerine is, I mean, it smells okay. I assume it's going to taste just fine. I don't think I eat a lot of things that are tangerine flavored. I don't eat tangerines, do I? What are the little tiny oranges? Are some of those tangerines and not really oranges? Anyway, so like last time, it comes with a toothpick. So you can poke your mochi and then eat it. So let's try one. Yeah, it's not a real strong flavor, but I like the tangerine flavor. I'm going to eat another one. Yeah, I like these, these are good. They're not sour or anything. I wonder if all mochi are this firm because they're, to me, they're a little bit firmer than your average, say, fruit snack, which is like gummier and chewier, but th these are a little bit firmer but I like them. These are good. Next we have something that I definitely do not know what this is. It's an interesting looking package and there are three of whatever's in here. So these are King's Melon Bread. Oh no, more melon? It's not exactly my favorite. Okay, I'll read on. Melon bread is a popular Japanese bread that is often available in school stores. Now it's your turn to try it with these melon bread cookies. Their sweet and crunchy taste will transport you to Toru's classroom. Okay, I'm anticipating that these are going to smell melony. Mm, not really, actually. No, they smell almost chocolatey or like those little filled koala guys, like koala yummies or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called, but they're like the little koalas and you bite them and they have the chocolate inside. That's what these smell like. It looks totally normal and safe. I think it looks like a normal little shortbread cookie. Okay, to bite it. It's filled. And it didn't say it would be either. So these have chocolate in the middle. I'm not really getting melon. Let me take another bite, just to be sure. Okay, these have a very light melon flavor. It is not crazy. If you're thinking like melon might be weird with chocolate in the middle or something, I really wouldn't worry about it. This is a good cookie. I like the amount of chocolate filling that's on the inside and the melon flavor is not off-putting at all. It's good and I like this and I'm going to finish it. Well, I was worried for nothing on that one, but that ended up being just fine. Okay, um, next let's go with the little, um, the little package that was on top next. I'm thinking this is gum. It's my guess. Right off the bat, I think this is gum. Kajiricho grape and soda. Why have one flavor when you can have two? This candy is double layered with grape on the outside and soda on the inside. Okay, so it's not gum, because I think they would have very specifically said it's gum. And on the package, it says grape chewing candy. Well, isn't chewing candy gum? 
Okay, well, I'm gonna try it, but I really hope that this isn't something that I bite into and try and eat and it ends up being gum. Oh yeah, it smells like some of the grape gum that we've had before in these boxes. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Okay. Oh wait, seriously, it really looks like gum. I'm gonna try it and if I swallow a bunch of gum, I swallow a bunch of gum. No, I don't think it's gum. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm much less worried now. I think you can eat it. I think it's really candy and not gum. Okay. But um, it's good. I pick up on the grape flavor. I'm not sure I pick up so much on the soda flavor. It's not hard to chew or anything. You can just break off little pieces and enjoy it. Um, I like it. It's kind of different. I don't know if we've had anything since I've been subscribing. I don't know if I've had anything quite like this, like a, just a chewy stick of candy, but it's good. I'll admit, I'm not sure what, I wasn't really sure if I should be expecting much with this, but I like this and I can see this being good and really any fruity flavor too. Okay, next, I know that we have our big bag coming up and I want to get the smaller items out of the way first. Okay, I swear it's gum. This is gum. <laughs> okay. I think this is gum because I can feel it in the package and it is the exact same shape from what I can tell as gum that we have gotten for the past two months in this box. So for the third month in a row, we're getting the same exact shaped piece of gum. I don't know how to pronounce this. A-O-B-E. A-O-B. And our book says, this is no ordinary gum. Chew on the soda flavor for a while and stick out your tongue. What's new or was your tongue always like that? Okay, so I guess it's color changing. It's going to make my tongue a certain color, possibly. It's, yep, it looks exactly like the gum we've got. The past couple of boxes. And I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt. Kind of after two boxes, like, I was hoping we wouldn't get that same exact little type piece of gum for ever every single box but this is the third one in a row that we've got so and it's soda flavored and there's the cap yeah so this is soda flavored too so we've had that before okay i'm gonna try it i'm guessing it's gonna make my tongue blue hmm my tongue is not currently blue let's find out chewing chewing okay did it make my tongue blue yeah, it did. That's funny. Okay. Flavor wise, it's totally fine. It's good. Um, soda, regular soda flavored gum. And now until I go brush my teeth, I'm going to have that. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Let's look at our very last item. As always, it's a big bag of something. What does this look like to me? To me, this looks like green tea puffy stars. Possibly matcha. Puffy Stars. We have had a couple bags of Puffy Star treats before, but they are different flavors, and usually they're different enough flavors that I think it's okay that they kind of stick to the Puffy Star thing. But again, like with the gum, I don't want like this almost the same exact item in every single box forever with just like a different flavor. Does that? makes sense so kind of I'm kind of noticing that happening now a little more and more but let's um, read about these and still give them a try so these are matcha milk shimo choco shimo choco a fan favorite snack now in a new limited flavor these star shaped cookies are made with uji matcha and white chocolate a popular bittersweet flavor combo in Japan matcha and white chocolate um, Hmm, not something that I ever would have known or thought to put together. Oh, doggy, they smell like matcha, like strong, like green tea. Okay, I'm gonna try them. 
I don't love the idea of trying these based on the smell. I mean, I'm fine with white chocolate and I'm fine with something that's lightly matcha flavored, but these smell quite strong. So I'm a little worried that they're going to taste strong, but there's only one way to find out. Ew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Can't do it. I really, really don't like that. Okay. No weight. Again, I liked. It has to be light matcha because it is such a strong bitter flavor. And it is just overpowering on these. Overpowering. I don't like this. I do not want to get this ever again. This is not my thing. So I can't even eat the rest of this bag. I feel bad. I don't like to waste, but I cannot eat this. So to review, we got our tangerine mochis, which were good. Those I like. And the King's Melon Bread, also good. The grape and soda, hopefully candy, not gum, was good. I would finish eating that. Um, the uh, soda flavored blue gum was good, but average. We've had that so many times. And the matcha and white chocolate puffy stars are a no for me. So that's three things that I liked. And one thing that I'm just kind of like the gum, I'm kind of bored with it. I hate to say it, but I'm bored with it. And the fifth item was just bad for me. So uh, yeah, not my favorite box. Still like getting these. I still have fun trying all the treats, but this box just was not totally a hit. And that's fine. That's part of the fun of trying the different treats, you know? So um, I don't know, maybe at some point I should upgrade, but it's more expensive. So I'm not sure if I should or if it's gonna be worth it, but I guess I won't know unless I try it. So I'm gonna have to think about it. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching this video and I will be back next month when we get our next Japan crate to try more treats. So thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.